Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see how we go with this. Oops, scratching my face, sorry. I don't know how big we're going to make it. We're just going to put it on the glass and have a gander. So let's see if we can make this look really nice. This will be an interesting one if we can make it look good. No, we don't. I don't want glossy. That was my fault. It wasn't. We can't blame that on Konica Minolta's interface. That was just me. So you've got to be fair sometimes, even though, you know, you just want to keep criticising the fuck out of your equipment because it's just not being manufactured well enough or much use. I'm thinking yellow is better. Maybe. I'm going there. Red and green don't mix. We just got to choose. We're just going to change the hue around. Actually, it's not going to be green, so maybe we can throw in the red. Uh, we'll soon find out. I think now we have to drop the hue to the opposite direction now, seeing we've got the red in play. So we don't want it hot, we want it cold or cool. And it's not quite cold. Cold. I think cold is mainly at or near the end, the cold end. Well, it's almost cold. It probably could be called cold or just a little bit. Whatever. Sorry. Damn it. Anyway, let's get this thing happening. All right, it is. Well, it looks like a foot. A <laughs> foot on the grass. Well, anyway, I found this. This is a bell fragment that I've torn off and cut. And basically, it's almost A4 in size. Just a little bit out of A4. A little bit longer and a little bit, a little bit narrower. So we're just going to line up the edge. And we're just going to get rid of this rough. We're just going to sit on the edge of this rough bit or just so we're gonna have to enlarge it slightly and we'll soon find out how we can make this look uh it's going to be a challenge we'll soon find out um i'm actually got to check to see how we've got it positioned we don't want to do it blindly so we're just going to see the foot is there so we're going to maybe enlarge the foot to fit we've got to pull it over the edge a bit i think so we don't have so we can have the foot in the middle or else oh no we'll do it this way sorry folks i'm in, indecisive it's not an easy one to do so uh all right so i'm going to make it a fair fair bit we'll soon find out how we're going to make this look so yep manual so now we're going to make this horizontal a hundred and twenty and the vertical I'm sure it'll be a lot bigger. It's going to be 190. Okay, we want to make the foot the feature. I'll see how it goes. See if this demo will come up a treat. This is not easy. <laughs> Trying to get something like this to come up looking artistic. But we've got the foot. At least the foot is at the edge of the page, that's what we want, but we're going to make it wider. I see that the there's no, there's not much yellow there, but you can see it there, but that looks interesting. I don't know how this is going to actually look when we're finished. We'll soon find out. We've got to make the vertical uh, fairly large, so we've got to make it 200 and 40. Making it 240. And the horizontal, will the horizontal be a bit bigger? Horizontal's going to, no, we're not going to do the horizontal. We're going to leave it as is. And we're going to do some more tweaking of this. So we just got to maybe, maybe the hue or the red, maybe the red's too red. We don't want to overdo the red. We're going much lower this time with the red. And the hue is too cold. We're putting it in the middle. Um, we'll see how that looks. And maybe, maybe the yellow. Can we keep the yellow? You can't see it that well, but anyway, it's there. Oh, 
Oh, there's that squeak, that scanner squeak, just went whoop, like that, that kind of squeak. Okay, let's see how this looks compared with the first. Now it's considerably cold looking. It looks really cold. Yeah, it's amazing what changing the hue back makes it cold even though the cold looks hot. Uh, wondering, I've got to do something really interesting with this. This doesn't look really good. Uh, wondering what we can do with it. Um, I wonder what we can do. This is not an easy one to make look good. We're just going with it and see if maybe turning it into a mirror image might make it look better. I'm actually thinking maybe, oh, it's a tough one. This looks really, this does not look all that exciting. Uh, as far as demos go with these colours because we've made it gone from hot looking to cold looking so I'm feeling like this is not quite right we'll see how we go when we set it up so maybe maybe we can do something a little bit funny with this to make it more interesting so we're just going to go here and we're going to just basically take our hue going all the way hot and the red we're just putting it in the middle and see what happens to our mirror images maybe they'll be good enough oh here goes that squeak again it's not a good sound Konica let's see if this has come out this is a bit of a punt see how we've gone color wise actually whoops I just bent the paper accidentally but that looks a lot more exciting. I'm thinking we're just going to get rid of these two images and this other one. And we're just going to line these up. This is not perfect. This is not the most exciting of, of images. But I've found the colours look a lot more interesting. A bit more varied. So we're now just going to go back to non-mirror image. And we're going to print those off as a pair as well. Still doesn't look great. But it's better than... So we're now going to switch it off. We had it on, did we? Let me have a look. Mirror image. I thought I had it on. Obviously I didn't. I don't know. I thought I had the mirror image on. I must have forgotten to set it. This demo is becoming a little bit prolongated, so I've just got to be quick. So, so this should be done. Hopefully this will be mirror images, not normal images. So... Yeah, we got it. We forgot to set the mirror image for the first lot. We thought we were setting it to go with that, but now we're going with these colours. And the yellows turn more to an orange on the shoes. So this is interesting what we've done. It's a little bit boring. It's not the greatest demo I've done. Not all demos turn out exciting. Sometimes they just look shit, but actually... That is abstract. No one would know what the fuck that was. Anyway, I think now we can call it quits.